Francisco Ramos is a veteran, so not an easy fight for Juan Manuel Marquez. Well, let's see how it goes here with almost a minute gone here. In Mikael looks like he's come to fight, though. Todd Marquez coming in. Oh, there you he go. He caught him with a shot, and he may uh -oh. not be able to recover from this. His eyes are shut. It's all over. They're going to get the doctor in there. It's scored a first round. It's not scored. It is. Wow. A first for one Manuel Marquez. This guy's still out. It looks pinpoint punching power against a very good former champion in Lika Ramos. Juan Manuel Dinamita Marquez. This guy, this guy is a, is a world-class fighter that he's fighting tonight. Although he's been off for quite a while and there's going to be some ring rust. But, I mean, Roy is just totally outclassing a guy. We're going to see what happens. Both guys are fighting well. Nice level. The fact he's four feet outside his face. Digging body shots again. The uppercut of the inside goes to the right hand lead. Oh, nails him with the right hand. Yeah, but he's setting him up. Left hook. But he is a fighter. Yeah, he take a step back. Call a checker. Well, he's executing it. Oh, look at that. Bed. You're already in a fight. Oh, big left. And Roy, too. Nice stiff jab. Listen to the Roy in. Now it was the fourth round. Another Jones Jr. round. Like that, he gets like a second flash of adrenaline. There's another one. The Roy destroys. Uh, he's a still is not working yet. Uh, big shots. That's it. It's all over. And a good stoppage by Tommy Kimmins. I agree. I mean, the way this fight was cut. Boom! Right there, the right hand, right on top. And and here's the end of the fight. Two real hard shots and Tommy Buckle. But I'll tell you this. You don't want the brain crashing up against the side of the skull any more times than what Omar Shaker took in this fight tonight. 32 years old, off for of 17 months, came back and fought his heart out. He is boxing's indomitable warrior with a record of 98 victories, 12 defeats, 67 of his wins by knockout. When Roberto Duran turned pro on March 3rd of 1967, Mike Colbert was six years old, six months old. Duran, the reason why we told you he's 98 and 12 with 68 knockouts is, yeah, folks, that's Roberto Duran still going against Mike Colbert. Two at the Garden when he won the lightweight title. His 1980 win against Sugar Ray Leonard at an age where he should have been. Duran, no matter what it is. I did train about. Have we qualified that on that? We're talking six, and the list goes out. George Foreman, who was scheduled to fight in Tokyo. Light. All the sparring. There's a right hand, and Colbert goes down. Duran sends it to the canvas with two. Mike. Speaks to what Duran said about some of the fighters from the wall. Oh, the body sends him down. Right to the midsection. Took the rich in. And Duran hurt him again, and Colbert is going down. Sixth round knockout. And Duran's so... Oh, and Colbert's out on his feet. Referee steps in, Dave Johnson, and that's it. Good job, my dear. Your winner, by TKO. His 69th knockout, his 99th win. Over Larry Holmes, 46 years young. Anthony Willis, 28, trying to make Holmes look old today. This young man has 16 wins, four losses, one draw, with 10 knockouts. Has 64 wins, five losses, one draw, with 41 knockouts. What he can do against the bigger, stronger, and older man, Larry Holmes. Now, the title defended it 15 times. There's a left hook. Combination scored by Holmes. Looks like he's going to fly. Right hand, right big hand. right hand. Willis landing over the top to the east. That right hand. There's a stiff jab. Another stiff jab by Holmes and just daring Willis to come at him. 
Sloan. Oh, big jabs, and he missed with her by the jabs, but he turned away from the big right. Six. Oh, combination by Holmes. Hands, Willis. Oh, he's not in the fight. with an eighth round stoppage. So Larry Holmes uh, celebrating his retirement on Father's Day with, so Larry Holmes uh, celebrating his retirement on Father's Day with this big right hand knockout of Anthony Willis. He is undefeated in his campaign in the ring with 40 wins, no losses, 33 wins coming by way of knockout, two losses, one draw with 28 wins coming by way of knockout. Touch him up. Respect, respect. Touch him, Bernard. Let's go, let's go. Hopkins again lands a right. Trinidad misses his. Knowing that he's intense. Hard right hand by Hopkins. Biggest blow in the fight. Trinidad. Gonna right and rush in. Tito put him on the way out. They fight after the bell. And trying to build it with the left hook right here. Four straight left hand. You. You are still limber, lingering on the position to do it good. Ooh, thank you. Now, box numbers. Hopkins has outlanded Tito in it. Whether Trinidad will be able to beat the belief out of him or not. Believe what I'm seeing. I don't believe it. And now Trinidad shuffles his own feet. Tito ripping with both hands. Trying to connect. Bernard lands a straight right hand. The right hand and move out of the way. And there's another big right hand. And again he moves out of the way. More, hit you and get out of the way. And another right hand for Hopkins. This is a call. Lands the jab at a straight right. With this Felix from Pepper. Throws his overhand right. Oh, Hopkins beating him to the punch. Moves to the crowd on his feet. that powerful puncher. Good uppercut by their man. Hopkins just keeps pounding away. It's bound to disappoint you. Big right. Can't trust judges. Well, Hopkins still. Oh, huge right hand. Huge right hand by Hopkins. Down goes Trinidad. For the desire. He's hey. never been knocked out. Hey. This fight is over. Steve Smoker stops it. He comes in. Hopkins. Done it. He knocked out Trinidad. Bernard yeah, Hopkins has Wearing red and weighing 250 pounds, this 1968 Olympic gold medalist has a professional record of 72 victories against four losses. 67 of those victories have come by way of knockouts, and his KO to win ratio is the greatest in heavyweight history. The undefeated heavyweight champion of the world, Michael Moore! Something in mind. I'm the boss man in here. Take your hands, good luck. It was the Sunshine Showdown. It was the Rumble in the Jungle. That's what Foreman's known for. But tonight, he's looking to turn back the clock against that man, Michael Mora. He's young, he's determined. Gap, but this. The 30th fight and drain the strength out of fighters. More of their getting shocked just a few months ago here. The 26 to Foreman's 45. Get to Mora's body slowing down. That's a good right hand. They're busy. Still somehow being walked onto the right hand. There's one just on the back of the ear up until this point. That's a good right hand. Let's look for it. In fact, George has spent the... George not afraid to take the shot. There's the right hand again. Left him on his shoulder. There's the right hand again. That's a good right hook. A southpaw right hook. It's a big solid jab and a short right. He's not bothered. How's it going? Good round for Mora. Good right hook. We seldom see Cortez. Well, the people inside the boxing business. Mora determined to stop him. He's become the first man to stop him since Muhammad Ali. That hot... Big cumbersome left hook, but managed to push for cross. George has got no defense against it. If he can slip inside and land faster punches, hooks. That means he knows it hurts. 
Odd seconds time. Big George, that's a jarring right hand. Moore took it well. It's another right hand and a great comeback jab. And a slight uppercut there for Michael Moore, followed by a right hook. But George is coming forward, right cross left. The best thing you can do is not get caught. Moore crushing right. Right punches in this round. And there's still 30 seconds left. Of they believe that this fight. Oh! He shows you it's coming. And then he drops it in. Love. But that right hand. Great counter to for Angelo Dundee had said, and so is that right hand, Michael Moore staggered back. That's the first time Moore has been forced back, and another right hand. He seems stuck. Then called. Cool. That's a fantastic. Two great shots there. Ten of the eighth round. Same shot, right up a cut. Foreman getting closer. Good shot, good left special. To change the course of his hook there. Those are good left hooks from Michael Moore needs to go back to working. That's it! It's a short right hand! There is no way he's getting up from that. Joe Cortez finishes the count of ten. George Foreman looks up at the heavens. He he is once again. And he delivered on it. What a night in Las Vegas. George Foreman is the heavyweight champion of the world again at 45 years of age. Remember that song, when you wish upon a star, doesn't matter who you are, anything your heart desire can come to you if you just don't give up on your dreams.